Hello and welcome to video two of the wrap it up series. If you missed video one, be sure to check it out. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do a wrap with a messy bun and a side swoop bang. For this wrap, I'm going to be using a simple neck scarf. It's pretty thin. Um, it's so thin actually that you can see right through it. Um, you can see me as I'm holding it above in front of my face. So that actually makes it really easy to wrap. Um, you don't necessarily have to use one that's exactly the same, but this is going to work pretty fine for me. It's fairly long and rectangular. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to section out the portion of your locks that's going to be your side bang. For this, I took a section that's a little bit off to the side, not exactly in the middle, using approximately 14 locks, about seven in the front and seven in the second row. Now you can choose as many locks as you want, as few or as many, depending on how thick you want that bang to look, and also depending on the variation of the size of your locks. Next, I'm going to put my hair up in a ponytail, doing this by taking two sections of locks and then positioning the hair and tying it off on the top. I'm actually going to tie it off twice and this is going to serve purpose later and you're going to see why that is. The next step is then to form your bang. Smoothing out your locks, make sure that they're nice and straight and even. You then want to take your hand, place it over the top, and then fold the locks over your hand. You see how that creates a nice even side bang? Now you're gonna hold it to make sure that the bang doesn't shift while twisting the ends so that you can then tuck it into those locks that you use to tie up your ponytail. Now at this point, you're gonna be happy that you tied it off twice because if you'd only tied it off once, it would be a little bit looser and possibly might come out. So you wanna make sure that it's not necessarily tight, but good and secure so that it's gonna hold your ponytail and hold your bangs in place. Look at that bang, perfect. All right, now that we've got that all settled and done, the next step is going to be to form our messy lock bun. And in order to do that, what I'm gonna do is just grab a few sections of locks, and each time I do that, I'm gonna pull it forward and begin to twist around. Twisting and twisting and twisting, and then pulling the locks up underneath and back around, and then tucking them so that they're secure. I'm not gonna be using any pins for this style or any hair bands. Now, you can do your bun pretty much any way you want to. If you want to use pins, you can use pins at your own discretion. You can also use a hair band to hold your locks in the place by just throwing it into a simple bun. For me, I'm doing it this way because I actually want to get a bit of a mixed spiral look where I have several different loops coming around. Now, I'm doing this very messy, right? I'm just grabbing sections and twisting them around and using the hair to secure itself. Just wrapping and pushing, and then as I'm tucking it under, that's basically what's holding it. It's that little bit of tension from the hair itself that's allowing the bun to stay into place. Let's speed this up a bit because it can get kind of boring to watch me do this. It takes a bit of time because I am taking several different sections and depending on how many locks you have, you might want to have more sections or less sections. So it may take you a little bit more time or a little bit less time. But I felt like this was a little time consuming so that's why I sped it up because I figured I didn't want to bore you to tears while you watch me do the same thing over and over again. With the last little section, I wrapped it around and then I tied it off. This is going to secure that bun a little bit better to make sure that it's really staying into place. And I'm just kind of sticking any leftover locks in wherever I can find space. It doesn't really have to be perfect because remember, this is a messy bun. And then we're going to still be wrapping, so a good portion of that's going to be covered by your scarf. So once you're content with however your bun is looking, whether you've done it in the same technique that I have or you've done it in another method, you're going to reach for that scarf. And what I'm actually doing is I'm going to fold this scarf in half the long way. And that's just because I want the width of it just to be wide enough to cover across from the back of my neck up to midway across that bun because I want my hair to be sticking out at the top. I'm wrapping the scarf around the back of my head, applying a little bit of tension and making sure that it's positioned just the way I want it. You can see I have it here just under my kitchen, covering up all that little scraggly hair because if you haven't noticed, I'm in badly in need of a retwist, but this wrap style is gonna look super cute and no one's gonna even know. Once I come around the front, I'm going to twist them across each other and then I'm going to use my fingers to kind of just spread out the sides and smooth it across the side of my face. Now it's up to you if you want to leave your ears inside the wrap or if you want to pull them out. 
Personally, I don't like my ears tucked inside the wrap, not because of how it looks, just because it feels uncomfortable to me. And I typically tend to wear glasses. So trying to get my glasses over my ears and trying to shove them inside that wrap just doesn't work out well for me. Now once I have the scarf around the back, I'm going to take the two sides and I'm going to begin to twist. Now you don't have to do this, but I'm doing this just because I like the way that twisted look. Bringing around the front, I'm going to come and twist the two ends together. And then once I've twisted all the way to the tip of that fringe, I'm going to then try and tuck it into the middle. And this is just going to secure the ends the best that I can. Now this doesn't have to be perfect, you just want to make sure that your wrap is secure. You don't want to have it slipping off or coming loose or just feeling uncomfortable. Really a good portion of this is just making sure that it feels right. And if your wrap feels good on your head, chances are that it's going to stay nice and secure all day long and you're going to be comfortable. You don't want it too tight hurting your head, but then you don't want it too loose sliding off either. So I'm just kind of tucking whatever loose fringe that I find there into whatever little space that I can find to get it nice and neat. Once that's done, I'm going to check my bang. Is it still intact? Perfect. And I'm going to just do a little bit of adjusting. So whether that's tucking in the loose edges that are coming out or whether that's just fixing the scarf, this is just you manipulating to make sure that your final product is going to look just the way that you want it to. Okay, once I've gotten that done to where I'm comfortable, I'm just about ready for the next step. And what's the next step, you wonder? Hmm. Well, of course, it's accessorizing. Earrings time. Yes, I love my big dangly earrings. I'm going to put these on to complement my wrap style. And I am all set. Here it is. And no, this is not slow motion. This is just me being silly and rotating really, really slow. I know, I'm kind of a dork, whatever. Anyway, here's the style. For more inspiration on how to wrap your locks, be sure to check out Locks Revolution on Facebook and look at the Wrap It Up album to see all different types of styles for wrapping up your locks. All right, thanks for watching.